Hi everybody, today I will show you how to design single product page in Elementor. So let's just begin. So the first thing that we need to do that we have to install a plugin. So for that we have to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. And here we have to search for shop lantern. Okay, so as you can see that we have the shop lantern here. So I'm going to simply click on the install now. And now let's click on the activate. All right, so as you can see, we are inside the dashboard of the shop lender. Okay, so we have the elements here. So if you want to enable or disable any element, you can simply do it from here. Okay, so after that, we're going to simply go inside the journal settings. So in the general settings, we really don't have anything. And you can also see that we have the WooCommerce template. So if you click on here, you can see that we have the option to enable or disable the template builder. We have the product limit. We also have the single product template. So from here, I can simply select the template. All right. And you can also select the product show page template. Okay. So now the first thing that we need to do, we have to create the template that we can use inside our single product template. Okay. So how can we do this? We're going to simply go to the templates and click there. And now you will be able to see that from here, we can simply create the new template. Okay, so I'm going to simply click on add new template. All right, so here what I need to do, I have to select. So this is going to be a kind of page. Okay, so let's click here and click on create template. All right, so here we will need to design our product page. Okay, so let's just close the navigator now. Or right, so the first thing that I need to do, I have to add the container. So let's click on add container and it's going to be Flexbox. And I would actually go here with this structure. So now what we need to do, we need to design our product page. Okay, so let's click here. And the first thing that we need is basically the title. Okay, so we have to select here the product title and I'm going to simply put it here. Okay, and I think we can go here with the H3. This is going to look fine. And here what we need to do, we can simply put the product image as well. So product image. So let's just drag this and put this here. All right, so now what I need to do, I have to add the product meta. Okay, so let's just go back and I'm going to search for. All right, so let's just drag this and put this here under our uh, product title. All right, so now what we need to do, we have to add a short description. So let's just write down product short description. So let's just drag this and put this here. All right, so this is our short description. So after the short description, I will need to include the breadcrumb. Okay, so let's just go back and search for the breadcrumbs. Okay, so here you can see the option of the WL breadcrumb. So we're going to simply drag this and put this before our title so this is the breadcrumb we have our product meta and we have this short description and after that what we need to do we have to add the add to cart button here okay so let's just go back and search for add to cart so let's drag this and put this here now you'll be able to see the option of add to cart okay all right so now let's just do some customization on our elements here Okay, so let's click on the image. All right, so now what I need to do, I have to decrease the width of our image. Okay. All right, so I think this would look better. So now let's just click here again. And here you can also see the option of the border radius and the margin. So if you want to add the border radius and the margin, you can simply do this. And we also have the option of the thumbnail. So if I just click here, you can see this, we have the option of the border type. We have the option of the border radius and spacing. And we also have the advanced settings. Okay, so now let's just close this. And now we can simply click on the breadcrumb. So in the breadcrumb, I can simply change the separator icon if I wanted to. And if I just go inside the style, I can change the alignment. I can change the text color, link color. And I can also change the space and the icon size from here. Okay, so what I need to do, I would like to change the space maybe. Okay, so I think this is looking better. And I can also increase or decrease the size of the icon here. Okay, so this is looking better now. And we can also change the alignment of this, whether you want to put this into the center or the right side or the left side. 
So right now let's just go here with the left side. And if you want to explore the advanced settings, you can simply do it from here. Okay. So I'm going to simply go here. And here I will simply write down the bedding. So this would be zero. And also the margin would be zero too. Okay. So now what I need to do, I have to click on the column here. And I have to change the value of padding and the margin here. So it's going to be zero. Okay, so now this is looking better. We don't have extra spacing here. All right, so this is looking fine now. So now let's click on our title. So if I wanted to change the HTML tag of the title, I can simply do it from here. And if I wanted to change the title color, typography, margin, and alignment, I can simply do it. Okay. And after that, we have our product meta. So let's click here. You can see this from here. We can change the text color, link color, and link hover color and the typography. Okay. So now after this, we have this short description. So if I just click here, you can see here that we have the alignment, text color, and the typography. So now let's click on this column here. And we need to change the value of padding. So this would be 0 to. Okay. So after this, we have add to card. So in the app to card, we have the layout. So if I just click here, you can see this, I have the different layouts here. So let's just try out the other layouts here. So let's click on layout one. All right. So if I just click on the layout two. Okay. This is looking better. So let's go for the layout three. And let's just go for the layout four. All right. So I think I really like the layout two here. Okay. So let's click here. And we're going to have the layout two. Okay. So if you want to customize it, you can simply click on the style. So from here, you can simply customize the quantity and the button and the add to cart as well from here. All right. Okay. So now what we need to do, we have to add one more container here. So let's click here. So this would be a single column structure. All right. So in here, what I need to do, I have to add the FAQs. Okay. So let's just write down FAQ here. And you can see we have the option of the FAQ. So let's drag this and put this here. All right. So from here, I can simply change the FAQ question from here. So if I just click here, you can see this. I can change the title. I can change the content of the title here as well. So from here, I can simply add the content of our FAQ. But if you want to change the styling of your FAQ, you simply go inside the style. So from here, what you can do, you can simply change the item spacing. You can change the border type. And after that, we also have the background type. So let's click here. And I will actually use a different color here. Maybe this color or I can even go for the lighter color. And we also have the title. So in the title, you can see the option of the alignment background type. So let's just change the value of the background type. So this would be... I think I would go here with the white color. Okay. And I would also like to change the active color. So that would be basically a kind of gray color. Or let's just try to change this here. I think I would go here with the black color. All right. And I would also like to change the item color. So this would be also a kind of grayish color. Okay. So this is looking better. So in a similar way, you can also customize the content and the icon from here. Okay. So after adding the FAQ, I would like to add the heading for the FAQ. So let's just add the heading here. All right. So let's just change the text here. So this will be FAQ. And after this, I would like to add the banner. So let's just go back. Search for the banner. So let's drag this and put this here after the FAQ. And I would also need to add the heading for this. So let's just put the heading here. So this will be banner. All right. So this is the banner text and this will be our banner. So in the banner, we have the style. We have the content alignment. We have the banner image. And you can also see the banner title and the subtitle. So I would simply like to add the banner image here. So I would actually use something like this. And click on the select. And I can add the banner title. So this can be product. And here this can be the small description of product. We can also use it as the small heading of the product. Okay. And you can also add the button text as well.
okay but right now i'm gonna simply put it like this but i would like to change the style here so let's click here and let's just go for the second style okay so i think i would go here with the first style all right so now if you wanted to change the styling of the banner you can simply go inside the style and from here you can change the style of the title you can change the style of the subtitle and also you can change the style of the button okay so i would like to add the button text as well okay so this will be shop now okay all right so i think now i would like to add the top products okay so i'm gonna simply search for product curvy okay so let's just drag this and put this here all right so this is the product curvy and you can also use this as the top reddit products okay so i'm gonna simply add the heading here as well so this will be the top rated products so i think i would go here with the h3 and in a similar way i would go here with the h3 and also for the faq all right so now this is looking better so if i just click on this product curvy you can see this we have the layout settings we have the qe settings or right, so in the qe settings you can simply filter products by recent products and you can also see the other options here as well and you can also add the product category if you want to and in the last we have the content setting so in the content setting you can see here we have the add to cart button we also have the content display options all right so after that if you want to do change the styling of this you can simply go inside the style and you can explore the different options here okay so after this i would like to add the related products okay so i'm going to write down related products so let's drag this and put this here okay so you can see this we have this related products so we have the limit to show the products by page so you can simply increase and decrease the number you can also change the value of the columns as well and we also have the order by and after this we can also change the styling of our related products element all right so here i think this is looking perfect and after this what we can do we can simply add the client reviews okay so let's just go back and search for the client and you can see that we have the testimonial so let's just drag this and put this here and now you will be able to add the client reviews here so we have the different style for the client review so let's just see if i click on the style 2 and let's just go for the style 3 and let's just go for the style 4 or right, so i think the style 4 is looking fine and i can also change the data from here i can add the image if i want to so let's add the image here so i think i would go here with this one so let's select this and now you can see this we have the image of our client so i can add the client rating i can add the designation i can add the name so you can simply customize this as well and if you wanted to add more testimonials or the reviews you can simply do it from here okay and if you want to on the slider you can simply on it from here and now you will be able to see the slider here but right now i would simply like to disable this all right so this is how we can create the product page in the elementor so now let's just publish this and now what we need to do we have to go back to the wordpress dashboard all right so let's just write down the name of our template so this is going to be product page so let's just update this all right so now what we need to do we have to go inside the shop lantern and from here we have to select our template okay so let's just click here and now you can see the option of the product page so let's select this and now let's just save changes all right so now what we need to do we have to go back to the products and here let's just click on view and now you will be able to see the product page that we have created here so we have the image we have the product title we have add to card we have faq we have banner top credit products related products and in the last we also have the client reviews so this is how you can create the product page in the elementor so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel